All right, we are entering the freeway. I'm gonna hit navigate to do a quick demonstration of navigate on autopilot without having to do lane change confirmations. So I set navigate on autopilot to be my new default. Uh, that means I don't have to press that blue button every time or press that button to turn it on. And now I'm entering the freeway and I'm manually driving the course. And we'll just go ahead and jump on and now I'll go ahead and turn on autopilot. Now that means from here on out, it will make any lane changes on its own. So I'm not pressing the turn signal. I'm not changing lanes right now. It's doing that all on its own. And it basically got out of the way of this truck or got out from behind this truck because the truck's going too slow based on the speed that I've got set. I'm gonna keep my hands down here on the wheel, nowhere near the turn signal so that you guys can see that it's actually performing the lane changes on its own. Now we're about 4.2 miles away from the destination and 3.2 miles away from the next exit. And as long as this lane keeps moving at the set speed, it'll just stay in this lane. If this lane all of a sudden the car was going too slow, then it would move over to another lane to pass that car. Um, and then as it's about to do right now, and it's uh, hit the turn signal automatically and it's now switching lanes uh, to again move past slower traffic. Now, we're three lanes in now. This is a four lane highway, we're three lanes in. Um, it will not go into the passing lane, of course, unless it needs to pass. And then if it is in the passing lane, it will go out of the passing lane on its own uh, once it's clear. Now, in traffic, what's great about this is if there are cars like in the way, it'll wait. It'll, it won't just try and go over. It'll hit the turn signal and it will wait until it's safe to um, make that lane change. And uh, it's now confirming to do that. Uh, but their problem is their car's in the way. So let's see what it does. Let's see how it can navigate to get over. It's starting to really slow down. It sees a gap and I think it's gonna go ahead and take it. Let's see if it takes it. Oh, that car is really not letting me over. Let's see what happens. This will be a good one. Oh, it did it. Okay, so the guy finally let me in and it waited until it thought it was safe to do it. And that's the whole point. Now, of course, you still need to keep your hands on the wheel at all times with autopilot. Uh, if you do take your hands off the wheel, uh, after a few seconds of it not detecting any torque, it will eventually start flashing at me, alerting me to put my hands on the wheel. I'm ready to take over at any time, so we are uh, driving safely. I'm paying attention. I'm not looking at you. Uh, but it's, it's just testing just how long it takes before it says it. Okay, so it wants to confirm the lane change. It's now flashing at me to put my hand on the wheel because it will not make the lane change. Take exit 61 on the ride onto Georgia 74 toward Fairbury. Unless it detects your hands. So, same thing. It will eventually flash. You don't have your hands on the wheel, period. And it will flash before it wants to make a lane change to make sure your hands are on the wheel as well. Now, it got over in the far right lane to make this next exit. It slowed down because the car in front of us is going slower and uh, that exit is about a half mile away and let's see what it does when it's time to hit the exit so so far i love it it's been a boss at changing lanes automatically without having to need to do any input now if i do want to change lanes manually i can just hit the turn signal myself and go left or right into either lane okay here we go there's a exit lane and just went into it and it's now slowing down. It says in about 500 feet, it's going to take it off, navigate on autopilot. Turn right onto Sinoyan Road. And now we're off auto, we're out, navigate on autopilot. We're still on autopilot. It's still slowing down because our car is in front of us. And it's staying over to the right because it knows we need to make this right. And it's almost coming to a complete stop with plenty of distance in front of us to, um, to stop safely. Now turn right onto Sonoy Road. So navigate on autopilot says complete. Press the accelerator to resume. 
Um, but since it won't make this turn, well, it, it'll actually try and make this turn because it thinks that this is part of a lane. But at this point, I'm going to probably manually take over and drive. But that is just a quick demo of Navigate on Autopilot. I think it's huge. Um, we're one step closer to full self-driving. And this will just make road trips or just driving on your daily commute in traffic so much better because it will handle being in the right lane at all times. Using sensors and cameras around the car, making sure it's safe to do it. And uh, again, all of this can be controlled in your settings, which hopefully I'll put up a screenshot of what that looks like as well uh, for the video for you guys to see it. All right, that's it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. We will catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.